today. Um, my outfit is pretty simple. I'm not even going to show you guys in a full length mirror. This shirt that has a tying thing. Oh, I guess it untied. I should probably tie that. But I love this shirt. It's from uh, Express. And then these pants, these are either Gap or Old Navy, which is like the same company. They have this, like some of the same things, just different prices. Right, Mr. Kuba, what are you doing? Just itchy, itchy, scratchy, scratchy? Itchy, itchy, scratchy, scratchy? Hello, baby. Hello. Oh, you guys see evidence of him ripping the ball? I see that little piece right there. Did you do that? Did you do that? Did you do that? Did you do that? Just these kisses, so full of love, so full of kisses. I love my kisses. So I am working on making something for the school right now. Making some stickers. I am also a little stressed out today because you guys know I'm the type of person to like plan things out ahead of time and I hate last minute things. Even like a last minute plans. In my personal life, I'm just like, no, like, no, no, not happening. I hate last minute plans. I mean, it's one thing if you tell me like, oh, um, why don't you come over for dinner tonight? If you tell me like that morning, like that's not that last minute. But if you're telling me like, for example, an hour like ahead of time, no, uh, -uh. like <laughs> it doesn't happen like that. Like for example, like sometimes uh, I will be at Andre's house and then like his friends will text him be like oh let's go out today like to like a club or whatever and most of the time I say no almost all the time I say no because I literally live half an hour from Andre's house if they're texting me if they're texting Andre for example when I'm at Andre's house I have a no clubby clothes I have no makeup and it's like this is why I don't like last minute stuff like I am not prepared for it I am not planned for it you know so I hate last minute things like that but today I got like some last minute stuff I need to grade for tomorrow. I have a lesson plan I need to make because I'm pulling like a group tomorrow. Um, since some kids like need like further um, support in like a certain topic before they go on to like the next stuff in the unit. So I literally have like half of the class tomorrow and I have to make a lesson plan for it and prepare for it. But I want to go to Dollar Tree and get some stuff like rulers and clothespins so I could do my activity. And basically my activity tomorrow is um, figuring out where fractions go on a number line. So I'm going to have the clothespins be the fractions and I'll like write the fractions on it or I'll make some stickers to put on the clothespins as fractions. And then I'll have, I guess, the ruler as my number line. That's what I need to go to Dollar Tree for. And on top of that, one of the kids stole one of my little um, tin containers that I had. And I don't know, I have to price out my teacher choice funds before I go to Dollar Tree, I guess, to see how much like funds I have left over. This is like clothespins and like rulers. This is stuff you could do like all the time. And I think I might do like the stickers because I could easily like peel off the stickers then. Um, you know, if I want to like use the clothespins for something else. And same thing like with the ruler. I mean, I guess I could have borrowed rulers from the school and did like a sticker on it, but I'm kind of thinking like kids are going to need a number line regardless, whether it's negative numbers or positive numbers. And if I get, even if it's just like a little wooden stick, I would prefer that over a ruler, but oh shit, I messed one up. Ah. I'm also making stickers for something else that another teacher asked me, like I'm literally doing something today for each single teacher I ever work with, for three teachers. Normally I'm with two most of the week, but once a week I'm like with another teacher. So I'm literally doing something today for every single teacher after school. And, <laughs> oh yeah, so a little, little stressed out right now. And I also have to like, oh my gosh, you know, don't cut, you're done cutting, stop cutting, it messed up already, oh my gosh. It like, it's like eating my paper alive. You guys see that? My paper is like in there, okay eating my paper alive. So I'm just like a little stressed out like with everything I have to do, I guess today specifically, because I mean, we have prep periods. I just wish sometimes people would tell me things in advance because I have all these prep periods throughout the week or you know, one prep period, prep period a day, but I also don't mind doing stuff during lunch and I would much prefer getting stuff done at school than taking work home with me. I mean, something like stickers, obviously I have to take home. I don't have cutting machines at school, you know, for example, like that is fine. Something like that, but it's like grading papers. I could be doing that at school, you know? Writing a lesson plan if I knew ahead of time. I could be doing that at school or at least finding ideas 
for my lesson plan of what I want to do, you know? But, like, instead, I was, like, spending time just, like, on Pinterest, like, trying to look up ideas, like, well, how to teach these kids where fractions go on a number line, but also make it, like, interactive. That's what I was just, like, a little stressed and frustrated about right now. But it's okay. Tomorrow's Thursday. Today's hump day. Week is almost over. And then it's Saturday, Sunday. I'll be in Connecticut. Um, and then Monday we have off for, I think it's what, Martin Luther King Day. And then Tuesday, Wednesday we have a quality review, which is a little scary. Tomorrow we have a period to prep, I guess, prep, prepare the rooms for the quality review. But today, I, I, um, during my prep period, I was pretty useful today. I did a growth mindset thing, so I, I, I downloaded the Silhouette program onto my uh, school computer because I make everything in Silhouette like Studio and it's just like I know how to use it. I pretty much prefer making something in Silhouette Studio than on Microsoft Word. To me it's just easier. I can move stuff around however I want it and I, you know I know how to use it so it's like to me it's easier than trying to like play around with um, Microsoft Word for example where like things can't exactly go wherever you want it you know so to me this is a lot easier but anyway so um, I made like the growth mindset stuff on Silhouette Studio today printed some on white paper printed some on color paper and then I like put it all up in our classroom um, and then the kids were like the next period the teacher like didn't even notice that I did it because I did it during lunch and I got, she was out of the room and then like the kids the following period she didn't even know that it was up there and the kids were like staring at it like what is that and I guess we just we just have to talk to them about it, like about the growth mindset, and like if you're saying I can't do this, think about like what do I need, what do I need to be able to do this, or like if I say, um, I, I'm, if they say like I'm not smart enough or not as smart as him or her, think about what they're doing and try exactly what they're doing, like you know, like it's different ways. So it's like a negative thing that the kids would say and turned into like a positive way they could think about it and see it and whatever they could say in a positive way so I think that's really important for our kids a lot of them you know just like don't have the self-confidence they don't believe in themselves they feel like people don't believe in themselves like, you know the other people in their lives so I think it's really important for our kids especially but I just think it's important for kids in general you know a lot of the times kids will say I can't do this or something and growth mindset is just like really important so I made like a whole little thing about that today and I posted it like in the classroom um, I've been wanting to do that for a while. I just didn't have the time and I didn't want to do it at home really. And then today I had the prep period and I found some time to do it. I was like, well, let's just get it done. So um, I really like how it turned out though. So that was good. I actually feel a little bit better now talking to you guys about it. So thank you guys for listening to my little event session right now. Just got back from Dollar Tree guys. I'm going to show you guys quickly what I purchased. Some stuff for teachers, like with my teacher choice fund, some stuff not. So this. I bought with my own money just a dollar oh nine I guess with tax I spent 869 on the activity I want to do with the kiddos tomorrow so let's see I got two sets of clothes pins I guess if I don't use them all tomorrow I can always use them for like future activities so I got uh, clothes pins Kubo's already looking through the bag to see what I got for him but I didn't get anything um, word strips, I'm gonna laminate them and this is what I'm gonna use to create my number lines. I'll just put like two together and I'll create like a longer lump number line and the kids will put the close pins on here with the fractions of like where they go on the number line. So I just got two sets of those. Figured I could use that for a whole bunch of stuff in the future as well. And this thing, I think this is like a sticky thing and I wanna put one on my laptop at school. It's a pen holder, so. I'm always losing my pens legit literally always losing my pens and you know kids grab them and whatever uh, so I'm always losing them I got one more of these this was the last one they had left the magnetic tin because mine was stolen today one of them so I got one more of those then I got some motivational stickers um, this one says like way to go wow you did it super yes you can great job i got stickers for you know when kids are doing a great job i could just like put it on their paper or their notebook or whatever everyone loves stickers right so i just got those goodies and yeah that's it now i gotta add this receipt to my teacher choice funds receipt and i gotta like add everything up see how much money i actually have left over from teacher choice funds working on making my fraction things i think i'm gonna have four groups tomorrow 
I think it's gonna be four groups of three students each. Um, so I did the fractions. I'm just cutting out like some little stickers and they're just gonna go on top of the clothespins right here. And then the kids will look at the fraction and be like, okay, this one goes here on the number line and they'll just like place it on there. I still have to make the number line. I don't know if I should like laminate these things first and then maybe put a sticker over it or if I should just laminate it and draw a number line or if I should put the sticker down first. I made like a number line without numbers so I could use it for whatever and maybe just do that and stick it on here. I don't know. I really don't know what to do. I mean, I could, I guess I could always do a number line on the back of these. I could, I could really use both sides for whatever. I don't really know, but my stickers just cut. So I'm gonna place my clothes, uh, my fractions onto my clothespins. And it's a good thing that I picked up two packs of clothespins because I'm gonna pretty much use all of them since I'm having four groups. And there's, I think I did um, 18 of these fractions. So we're just gonna place them on the clothespins. I hope they fit. Oh, they're perfect. 512, see? There we go. Now it looks like that and then the kids would just like place it down. Super cute. I need a baggie for these. Clothespins look so cute. I think that for next time I will also put like something on the back That way I could have like the white side for one activity and then maybe like harder ones on the back like a different color So they know like those are the harder ones or you know like they're different for another activity Or maybe I could do decimals on one side and then for the kids to put those on the number line as well because you know we're learning all about fractions percentages and decimals so that's another idea I could do um, if I am continuing like with my group or whatever, but I think for tomorrow, it's it's just this I know for tomorrow and then I don't know if I'm continuing or not. I guess we'll see. It depends on like what the lesson after that is with the other teacher. And then, then I think for these, I decided, I think I'm just gonna put the number line on it. I'm gonna print one and I'll see. I'll put, I think I'm gonna put the number line on it and just put it on one side so that the other side I could use for something else. I just don't know which side to put it on. I haven't figured that part out yet. But I'm gonna print out four of those little number lines and I'm just gonna have my machine cut it out. And then, I don't know, I think I kinda wanna put it on this side. That way, like on this side, kids, um, if we ever like um, do anything else with them, like we could also, I'm gonna laminate them after I put the number line on one side. But if anything, kids could also write down like, percentage and decimal and whatever all like on the strip and like I don't know it's just like another activity I guess kind of like a dry erase board but I don't know and I could always um you know stick something else on it as well it doesn't have to be um kids writing on it I could also just make another sticker and stick it on and I like that my stickers my paper is removable so that if I do laminate it especially if I laminate it, it'll be like super easy to peel off but it's also easy to peel off if I don't laminate it but I want them to hold up you know so I'm gonna laminate them anyway because I like things to last a while I don't want to have to like repurchase these things over and over and over again so I pretty much decided to put the number line on the back because if I do it on this side I feel like um, not with this one this one's not too crazy because it's like a white border but I felt like this one was too crazy if I put it on the front like the kids are just gonna get confused so I just decided I'm gonna put it on the back and that's what we're doing <laughs> we're just gonna stick these on to the back of these there you go my own made up number lines and as you guys can see like i put the little dots for the big marks and i could like change these up to whatever whenever we're doing this activity i could just tell them like okay so this one's zero one two and three which is what it's going to be in this case but also because i'm going to laminate them the kids can also write zero one two three or i could write it and then you know it comes off easy later with like alcohol or whatever to just like wipe it off once it's laminated it's like perfect
Alright guys, I need to be done for today. It's 10-12. I finished pretty much everything. I wrote like a quick little lesson plan. I did their exit tickets and everything and that was like so much work. Um, I just wish like I would have known about this sooner because again, I'm not like the last minute person planning type and I... I remember when I was in school, I would have like my lessons planned out like way ahead of time, like at least a week in advance, you know, but ideally I would like to plan for the whole entire month. So you make a unit plan, you do like a general idea of like what you want to do in your lesson plan. And then like everything else is like so much easier because you have like an idea of what you want to do, what materials you need and blah, blah, blah. And so I didn't have that uh, luxury of having the time ahead of time, but I finished everything, I think. So... I'm ready for tomorrow. I kind of want this to be like my official observed one, but I know there's like not enough notice to like let the assistant principal know to do like a pre-observation and then do the actual observation. I know there's not enough time for that, but uh, oh well, I'll just have to think of something like also amazing like that later on. We're going with this Rose Absolute Essential Oil today only because it makes me feel like calm down and less stressed. Like. I love, 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 Rose. Okay, guys, I gotta say goodnight. I really don't know what I'm wearing tomorrow because now it's supposed to be warmer since I last checked. Alexa, lights off. So it's supposed to be warmer, but I wanted to wear like this navy blue dress and tights and boots. So I might wear that tomorrow, I think. And then I just have to change Friday's outfit because then I really don't know what I'm wearing Friday. Um, because I originally had planned this, which is like a turtleneck and like a sweater, but then Friday's supposed to be like 60 degrees, and that's a little like too warm. The weather has been cray cray, guys. Like, oh, we went from like below freezing temperatures last week, and now we're back up like in the 60s this week. It's like crazy. Global warming is real, guys. If you guys don't believe in global warming, well, maybe you will after now that you know that are crazy temperatures in new york anyway guys i gotta call andre back he facetimed me it is time for bed it is 10 30. i really gotta go i will see you guys tomorrow thank you guys so much for watching and please click that red subscribe button down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's next daily vlog bye